Hey guys, RC's here, and this is my class setups powered by Elite Gamer. Hey guys, I'm gonna start off my uh, AR class. We're gonna go with AK-47. And personally, I do like a optic sign on it. And out of all of them, I, I'd probably use the Microflex LED just because it looks like the like the easiest one to see through. It's it's a decent size and it just looks normal. And we're gonna see a pass muzzle break since I'm using only five attachments instead of eight. So we're gonna go to barrel. And personally, I like I like the Spetsnaz barrel just because I could control the recoil. The max starting ammo doesn't bother me and it does more damage. Bullet velocity is good. It makes it so it shoots straighter and shoots where you want it to shoot. And the effective damage range is huge too for me. Then I'd probably, I'd skip laser too, just cause it's not needed. It's helpful, but you, you don't need it at the end of the day. Under barrel, I, I, I think we could, we could do the Spetsnaz speed grip just cause it helps with your movement speed. And the uh, horizontal recoil you lost earlier from the barrel, you get back. Then we'll go with the, we'll skip magazine. We'll go with the handle and make it the elastic wrap. You get aim down sight 30%, which is huge. It makes it zoom faster. Flinch resistance, help it so you don't get, you don't get the flinch when someone else hits you with a bullet and aim while going down, going pro could go huge for you. Then obviously the last stock, the skeletal, just cause it's, it helps the movement again. And hip fire actually, for a main AR, you, pr you probably don't need it. It just, it, it doesn't matter. It's just two positives versus something that you, that you don't need. Personally, for my team, I'd, I want to run a smoke to, to help my teammates and a Semtex because it, uh, it throws far, uh, faster. Then obviously the trophy system so we don't get naded or smoked out. And and I like to run engineer to see where the trophies are or where Semtexes are coming from. Then flag jacket, I hate getting naded. And the third one would be ninja. So people don't can't use their headsets against me and listen to my little footsteps. All right, guys, this is my sniper class. We're gonna go with the Tundra. I think it gets less hit markers than the Pellington, and it's just overall like the the better gun out of all three of them. We're not gonna throw anything in optic because the, the the scope already looks good enough for me. We're gonna put on the the stabilizer just because the idle sway is huge. Don't want I don't want it to swing everywhere when I zoom in. Then I'd probably put on the 29.1 combat recon because you want the bolo velocity. You don't want your bullets dropping when you shoot far distance. You want to keep it like straight up. Then for the grip, I'd probably put on the the patrol just for the sprint moving speed. Obviously, you want to you want to move fast. Like you, you want to keep moving that, that that speed. Again, airborne elastic wrap, aim down sight 12%, flinch resistance. You don't want the flinch. Shooting move speed, you you lose some of that back. And sprint to fire it doesn't really matter because you're you're going to be zooming in sniping anyways then raider pad sprint to fire aim walking movement speed up there again you can move faster with the sniper then flash bang we want we want flash people that are getting close to us or they're trying to rush us we got the semtex throws faster through instant blows up then you want the flak and flak attack for perks you can't get nade you can't get stunned then obviously and then just so you don't get get sound Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope these class setups powered by Elite Gamer help you dominate the competition. And thanks for watching and subscribe.